Okay, for our timeless oracle reading for today, we will be using the mediumship training deck. Just a little information regarding this uh, card deck, uh, oracle deck. Um, this is designed to train mediums, those who have a special calling to uh, be sort of like a messenger between the spirit realm and also the physical realm. So this is a very special calling, people with a very special gift of intuition uh, they have a special mission a special role in 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 this realm of, that we are here right now so but even though this is dedicated for mediums uh, we can gain a lot of insights regarding the development of our intuition through these cards so uh, there might be some discussions here that might not uh, might not resonate with uh, your present journey because yeah, this is a very specific specific uh, card deck for training deck for people who are being called to become medium. So there might be certain things that might confuse you. So just take what resonates with you. The things that can help you in your present journey. You were able to see this video because there are some certain messages that you need from to learn from. So just take what is meant for you and the rest, especially, especially for... Uh, the rest you leave behind for those who are called to uh, to to this path no so but there are there is a reason why you found this video so just take what resonates with you uh for those if if certain insights here would clash to your belief system uh just take it uh just uh take it with a grain of salt you you keep yourself open because uh who knows maybe in the near future things will get clearer for you who knows we do not know at this time maybe you're just developing your intuition but we are not sure who will be called later on to a similar path as these people who are called to become medium so just keep keep things with a grain of salt accept what you can accept at this present time of your journey and let us learn from the insights that are being shared by this oracle deck now let us go to the oracle card for today so our a reflection card or training card for today is entitled blending with spirit if you try to look at the picture you will see a face of a person that seems to represent a, a combination of mountains and trees <laughs> okay and then the other person that is overlapping the face of this other person represents the skies and the clouds Okay, so it's like uh, the skies and the clouds represent the inner world and the trees and the mountains represent the physical world. And somehow, yes, blending with spirit. It's like uh, a medium is called to be an intercessor between the physical realm and the spiritual realm. So somehow, being a physical person, the medium, he travels within through his inner portal in order to blend with the spirit world okay so uh, we will try to read the reflections on this card okay blending with spirit will enhance your communication allowing for stronger evidential messages merging with the essence of spirit can create a powerful connection for the sitter to feel as though their loved one has come alive even for that moment. Blending is a term used when a spirit draws really close to you, allowing you, the medium, to become one with your essence. By surrendering fully, you can step into their shoes and become the spirit, all the while maintaining a conscious awareness. Blending your energy fully with the spirit is an important step to deepening your link during evidential communication. After creating the link, share some evidence with your sitter to validate the connection. You will notice how the sitter is the sitter's loved one in spirit begins to draw closer as the sitter receives and validates the information you are offering 
take a moment to breathe deeply into your lower chakras as you mentally invite the spirit to envelope you in their love. Feel their energy surround and embrace you as you blend together. Take a few moments to adjust to the blending process and allow their energy to settle with yours. Now you can share more evidence, personal messages, and even their mannerism with the sitter. In the beginning, it may take a little time to get used to this technique, but with practice, it will become totally natural. Remember to always share information from a loving and supportive place. Okay, so this is a very special gift for a medium, wherein somehow the, the medium uh, blends with the spirit of the deceased person or the deceased loved one, and somehow they they attained the way the the way the loved one would act when they were still alive in this physical realm and somehow it becomes sort of like an assurance also to the loved one to whom they would like to communicate now not all of us are called to become mediums but we can also share some messages coming from the universe from the divine or from our spirit guides some of us are given the gift of being also uh, messengers of the messages coming from the universe some become tarot readers others become diviners like those who can read the crystal ball those who can uh, divine uh, water or uh, tea leaves whatever it is now uh, there are different ways wherein people are given a special gift now for you who have watched this video you might be also for some of you might be called also to somehow be a sort of like a messenger sometimes being a messenger need not necessarily have to have an immediate message on things sometimes it it can be we just um, trying to live by allowing yourself to be more docile with the universe by using your intuition to be able to grow each day as you allow the universe to change you to allow you to undergo transformation you are also able to bring messages from the universe through the gift that the universe gives you as you evolve or undergo transformation spiritually so there are so many ways that the universe can be able to utilize our gifts in order to benefit the universe sometimes some of us will become messengers but the important thing is being open always open and also ready to love everything that we do everything every service that we provide for mankind and also for the universe through the guidance of the divine for, through the guidance of god and his and our spirit guides is a gift that we can give to the world it's, it's something that that uh, in our own small, small way we contribute to the welfare of the universe and also of mankind so in a certain sense for some of us as we grow deeper in our spiritual journey you will realize that the universe or the divine or your spirit guides will somehow ask for your assistance every once in a while and the important thing there is for us to be docile and to allow ourselves to be instruments for the good of the universe and the good of mankind so the important thing is to constantly develop constantly spend more time uh, and allow ourselves to grow in the in a spiritual way in order for us to be more docile to the movements of the spirit and in order for us to be more effective instruments for the promotion of love and grace towards the whole of created universe or the whole of the universe and also of mankind so as you can see mediums have a special gift they sometimes even are able to um, be uh, sort of like mediums for the expression of those who are beloved uh, who are who have already crossed over in order to express their love to their loved ones who are still in this realm so this is a special gift but there are different gifts and the important thing is that we are docile and to allow the spirit to guide us so that we can maximize all the gifts every effort as you can see here should always be guided by love with love and also this docility 
to the guidance of God, to the guidance of our spirit guides, then there is little chance for us to lose our way. There should always be that humility that we are not perfect and every once in a while we commit mistakes. But as we continue to realize that we, the mistakes that we have committed, we slowly grow. The humility to accept our mistakes and to begin again allows us to move forward and move deeper into our spiritual journey. Well, I hope that this oracle card has helped you in some, in one way or another, and I hope that you were able to gain some insights, some inspiration, and uh, some answers to some questions that you might have, have might have at this present moment. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until that moment, may God continue to bless your ways.